I'll show you 10 plus features of Microsoft Edge, which might convince you to make the Edge your default browser and ditch the Chrome for good. For those who don't know, Microsoft revamped their old Edge browser completely in 2020. It is built on the same browser engine called Chromium, which is used by Google Chrome, but with a ton of more features. This means your web pages will work just like how it used to work with Chrome. You can use the Chrome extensions. It won't take up as much RAM and memory as Chrome, plus the benefit of features integrated by Microsoft. Okay, my favorite feature, number one, Edge has a built-in sidebar feature which can house a variety of tools. This is the sidebar. If you don't see it, you can enable it by going to settings, click on sidebar and click always show. What does this sidebar do? Here you can open websites, notes, to-do apps or anything you want while you're working on the main web page. For example, I tap on this plus sign and I'm going to add WhatsApp to my sidebar. Now whenever I want to text someone, I can simply open the sidebar, respond and get back to my web page, all without leaving the browser. I can add Outlook to respond quick emails, add ChatGPT whenever I want to ask ChatGPT some quick question, even Google to quickly search something, all without disturbing my content or opening new tabs. My favorite of the sidebar, the Tools app. It has a calculator, translator, world clock and unit converter. I also use it to quickly add tasks to my to-do list while browsing. The sidebar also has one more feature called the drop. You can quickly drop any files on the sidebar and you can find it on the Edge browser of any other device, including your phone. It's super useful. Give it a shot. Second, Immersive Reader. Check this out. I'm reading this article on the web. It has so many ads, related links, formatting, etc which makes the main article a pain to read. There is an option near the address bar to turn on Immersive Reader. Click here and immediately Edge removes all the distractions, extracts the main content and shows the article in a beautiful reader page. This works on most pages with text content. Reading on Edge has become so immersive and easy for me. For comparison, Chrome has a reader mode too. I will open the same page on Chrome Reader to show you the difference. Look at this. It's not even close to how good the Edge Reader is. Click on the same icon to go back to normal mode. Third, if you do a lot of online shopping, Edge will find you great deals, find coupon codes and save you hundreds of dollars potentially. No third party extension required, no installation required. It's all built in. Go to any online shopping website. When you check out, Edge will automatically ask if you want to use any coupon codes. If you say yes, it'll automatically check all coupon codes and even apply the best pricing coupon code. When shopping, click on the Microsoft shopping pin on the sidebar. You will find the coupon codes, price history, of the product on the website if any other retailer is selling at a lower price and even cash back on multiple products. I've literally saved a few hundred dollars using this feature. Fourth, vertical tabs. If you have not tried this, this is a must try. In Edge, you can click on this icon on the top left and select turn on vertical tabs. Now your tabs are all on left. You can either pin it so that it'll be always visible or unpin so that it hides away and is visible only when you bring your mouse to the side. Finding tabs, moving around are so much easier in vertical mode, but there are more advantage to this vertical tabs. You might already know that Chrome can group one or more tabs for easy management. You can do that in Edge 2 by creating a group and segregating tabs into groups. Let's say you have 20 tabs open. Edge can help you group the tabs automatically for you. Check this out. I click on this icon here on the side and select organize tabs. Look at this. Edge has automatically grouped the tabs for you. I minimize the unnecessary tabs and use the only ones which I'm actively working on. I can then move around stuff if I want. I can even pin tabs where Edge will always keep this web page active and open. Sixth, collection. Chrome should seriously copy this feature. Say you're researching a car and have like 20 tabs open. You want to save all these and come back to it later or even share these tabs to someone else. On Edge, you can simply save all these tabs to a collection. To do this, click on any empty space on the vertical tab and select add all tabs to collections. This will create a collection with all these tabs you selected. You can view them by clicking on this collection icon. You can rename the collection, add more web pages, etc. If I go back here, these are all the list of collections I have created. I can even add images to a collection and add specific notes to it if I want. Whenever I plan a party or research about something, I use collections extensively. 
Seventh, split view. Ever wanted to split view in Chrome and you had to install a third party extension? Edge has them built in. Need a second web page side by side? Just click on this split view icon on the top right bar. You can either select a tab which is already open or create a new one. So easily there is a side by side web page. I use it extensively when I'm taking notes on Google Docs while searching the web. I play something on YouTube or Spotify while I work, etc. Now the split tab is grouped so you go to any other tab and come back the split page will stay intact eighth this is something available by default edge uses significantly lower memory and ram than chrome so it's easier on your system while opening a lot of tabs not just that edge has a feature called sleeping tabs when edge finds a tab with a web page that has not been accessed recently it'll put that tab to sleep this way the tab won't take any resources on the machine and the edge will perform faster and smoother when you go back to the tab it'll automatically wake up the tab and perform as usual Ninth, Chrome has the option to use multiple profiles depending on the person using the browser. This feature is available on the Edge as well. It's called Workspaces. You can create multiple workspaces depending on your project or profiles. Nothing new here, but Edge has leveled up with this feature even more. You can invite others to Edge Workspaces and work together. You and the others you invited will see the same set of tabs, collaborate and sync immediately. This is incredibly useful if you're working as a team. I personally use one profile for work and one for personal. Okay, number 10, read aloud feature. Another awesome feature of the Edge to be honest. Open any web page, find this icon at the top of the address bar, just tap on it and the Edge will start reading that page aloud to you. Check this out. Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 running in the OnePlus 13 obliterates the competition in new benchmark leak. The OnePlus 13 will reportedly be unveiled next month, which only means that the upcoming flagship will be taken through its paces and tech tested using various benchmark apps to gauge its performance. The voice is so natural, isn't it? Not just that, you can also ask Edge to go to the next paragraph, change the speed of the reading and even change the accent of the person reading it. So cool, isn't it? I use this to read long articles, listen to ebooks as audiobooks or even read a recipe of a dish while I cook. Convinced already about Edge? I've been using Edge for a very long time now and it's a rock solid browser. It has a mobile browser too, it has all the features of Google Chrome, runs on the same browser engine, uses way less memory, gets new features pretty frequently, has amazing integration with Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Outlook, etc. and has been super reliable overall. What's your favorite Edge or Chrome feature? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.